Today, we are going to make a beautiful picture. Um, we're going to make a picture of fall trees, and we're going to use little tiny dots, which is called pointillism. So what I need is a piece of paper. I need a palette with paint on it. And I'm also going to need some of these fancy paint brushes. Just kidding, they're Q-tips. Um, these are gonna help us make our dots today. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some trees for my picture. And I think I'm gonna do one, two, three trees. So I'm gonna fill up my Q-tip with some brown paint and then I'm just gonna make a vertical line with dots. And I'm just gonna kinda let my dots be different sizes, and some are really dark and some are lighter, that's okay. I'm just trying to make a tree trunk-like shape. Now tree trunks do something interesting. As they go up, they split into branches. So I'm gonna make mine into the letter Y, and that's going to look like the branches of a tree. And then if I want to, I can even split off again and make them into smaller letter Y's if I want lots of branches on my tree. Now I'm gonna take some more brown and fill in my branches a little bit. I wanna be able to tell, even if I'm using dots, I still wanna be able to tell that it is a tree. I don't want lots of white space left. I wanna fill it in with as many dabs as I need so that you can see it clearly. I think I'm ready to add some more. So this little Q-tip still has a use. I could set it aside on the tray and somebody else could use it for brown or I can simply flip it over in my, my hand and use the other side. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dip into some green now and I'm gonna create some grass underneath my trees or red next because I love trees with red leaves and I'm gonna add just a couple of dots as though some of the leaves have fallen from this tree and then I'm gonna make a whole bunch more dots all around my tree so it looks like it's full of red leaves. Wonder what color the leaves should be on my other tree. You know what might be fun? It's if it has maybe yellow and green leaves. Let's give that a try. My final step is going to be to add some color behind the trees because it's not usually just white. When we look outside, we usually see other colors like um, blue sky. So I think that's what I'm gonna add to mine. So I'm gonna take one more Q-tip and I'm gonna fill it with blue and I'm just gonna basically do a lot of dabbing to fill in everything that isn't already filled in with the colors of my grass and my trees. I'll try and go around my falling leaves so I don't cover them up and lose them. All right, I think I'm done. I actually wanna go back really quickly and add a little bit more brown to my trunk so it's really nice and easy to see. It's clear. Oftentimes the first thing you do, you wanna revisit, go back and give it a little extra love at the very end. That's looking good. All right.
now I can see that trunk. I think I'm going to do a little bit more for the other trunk too. This is why it's nice to slow down. When we make art, there's no need to rush. You might miss an opportunity to make your art even better. I think I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna call that a success. That is a finished piece of art that needs to go to the drying rack so that it can dry.